Ever wondered how the world operated when gold was king? Picture a time when every dollar bill you held in your hand was as good as gold, literally. This was the era of the gold standard, an economic system where the value of a country's currency was directly linked to a specified amount of gold. Imagine a world where your hard-earned money was backed by something tangible, something real. Gold, in all its glitter, was the bedrock of economies, from the United States to the United Kingdom and beyond. Countries adopted the gold standard to maintain economic stability and foster international trade. By pegging their currencies to gold, they were able to keep inflation in check and inspire confidence in the value of their money. It was a time of certainty where gold was the true global currency. But as with all things, change was inevitable. Picture this. 1971 President Richard Nixon shocks the world. In a televised address, he announces the end of the dollar's convertibility into gold. This was no impulsive decision. It was a strategic move born out of necessity. The United States was grappling with economic challenges, inflation was creeping up, and trade imbalances were becoming a growing concern. The gold standard, once a symbol of stability, was now seen as a straitjacket. It limited the country's ability to manipulate its currency to address these economic issues. So, Nixon took a gamble. He severed the tie between gold and the dollar, hoping to regain economic control. But this move was not without its risks. The world was accustomed to gold-backed currency. This change was a leap into the unknown. The world held its breath as the dollar plunged into uncharted waters. With gold out of the picture, what now backs our money? With the dollar no longer convertible into gold, the world was introduced to a new system of money, the fiat currency system. In this system, Money doesn't have intrinsic value. It's not backed by a physical asset like gold or silver. Rather, it gets its value from the trust and confidence people have in the economy of the country issuing it. The immediate aftermath of the de-pegging saw a sharp decline in the dollar's value. This was a direct result of the dollar no longer being as as good as gold. It was a shock to the global financial system, sending ripples across markets. Economies had to rapidly adjust to this new reality, navigating uncharted waters. But the world adapted, as it always does. Central banks across the globe began managing their currencies independent of gold. The world had entered a new era, the era of fiat money. So what happened next? What were the long-term implications? After the de-pegging of the dollar from gold, a new era of economic flexibility dawned. Central banks, no longer bound by the rigid constraints of the gold standard, could more effectively manage their nation's economies. They could adjust interest rates, control inflation, and stimulate economic growth with a newfound agility. Yet this shift wasn't without critics. Detractors lamented the loss of financial stability that the gold standard provided. They argued it opened the door to irresponsible fiscal policies, potentially fueling economic bubbles and crashes. Conversely, supporters hailed the birth of the petrodollar system. This was where oil exporting countries started trading crude oil in US dollars, further cementing the dollar status as the world's primary reserve currency. The depegging had far-reaching effects, shaping the world of international finance as we know it. The ripple effects of this monumental decision continue to influence our global economic landscape even today. Fast forward to today, how does the legacy of the depegging still affect us? The answer in short is in every way imaginable. The depegging of the dollar from gold set the stage for the modern international monetary system. It gave birth to the fiat currency era where the value of money is not tethered to any physical asset. Instead, the trust we place in the government that issues the currency is what gives it value. The US dollar, for instance, continues to hold sway as the world's primary reserve currency. Nations around the globe stash away dollars as a form of economic insurance. This status of the dollar is a direct result of the depegging, reinforcing its dominance in global trade and finance. So whether we talk about global trade, international finance, or even the money in our pockets, the ripples of the depegging are still felt. 
The depegging of the dollar from gold was truly a game changer in history.